Hi everyone and welcome and let's make a biscada, which is a meat lover's dream, very popular in the northern states of Mexico, typically made in a disc, but you can definitely make it your own in a large pan or on a grill like we're doing today. All right, let's get started. First, we need to do some prep, starting with two bell peppers. Now, I love the color and sweetness from any kind of bell pepper, but Nelson over here prefers the grassy flavor from the green one, right? Oh yeah. So we're combining them. I have a red one and a green one. Remove the seeds and stem. Now dice them into bite-sized pieces. Set these aside. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing with one whole medium white onion. Next, two Roma tomatoes, and this is about six ounces. You can do vine ripe as well. Just make sure they're nice and ripe. Cut them uniform in size as the rest of the veggies. And we need to have some garlic in this dish. Finely mince four peeled garlic cloves. And I chopped a quarter of a bunch of cilantro. Additionally, we are also going to use three whole serrano peppers. I don't know what happened to these. They're huge, but we're using them. And as many spring onions as you like. I'm gonna be doing four. All right, this next part is not a paid ad, but look, we're gonna be using hot dogs and bacon. I've been struggling to find a good brand that doesn't have added sugar because obviously I tried to avoid it. And I figured this might be helpful for some of you guys. This is the brand that I use. It has no added sugar. It took me a while to find a brand that I could trust and one that works for me. And this is it right here. But hey, do your own research and use what works for you because I understand everybody has different needs. Let's start with the hot dogs. Slice eight ounces. For me, that's about five lengths. And do the same thing. Keep them as close in size as possible to the veggies. Rule for this dish is we need to keep all of the meats as close in size as possible to the veggies. That way everything cooks evenly. Slice eight ounces of bacon. All right, look at this beautiful piece of chuck steak. Dice up two and a half pounds of it. You can use your favorite piece of steak. Flank steak is a good option. Skirt steak, ooh, that's like one of my favorite cuts. It's a great option as well. And what's great about this recipe is you can make it your own. It's very versatile. I'm gonna transfer this into a bowl because while we're at it, we're gonna season with salt to taste and I'll be doing half a teaspoon of kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix it in and set it aside. As for the 14 ounces of pork loin, make sure to remove any silver skin before dicing it. Yeah, eso no tiene. I'll season this with a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper as well. And for the grand finale, one pound of pork chorizo out of its casing and broken up. Okay, we are ready, let's head outside. All right, Nelson is going to get started on the grill. Meanwhile, I'll start bringing everything I need outside. Since we don't have a disc, I'll be using my Weber wok. Remove the center of the grates and we have the perfect setup. Everything is working in my favor, I'm so relaxed. All right, let's do this. I'm starting with a grill that's about 400 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When the wok is nice and hot, cook the bacon. Rosanna showing up her sex. What? Hey! How dare you, Nelson? How about we show the belt support you have going on over there? <laughs> it needs a good wash. <laughs> You've just exposed ourselves. How dare you? That bacon smells good. Yes. Halfway through cooking, when the bacon is beginning to brown, add the pork and just continue stirring as necessary. By the time the pork has completely cooked, 
The bacon should be ready, crispy and brown. Transfer onto a sheet pan. I just tasted that pork with bacon. So good. And continue with the beef. Cooking in separate batches gives us the freedom to work with each ingredient without overcrowding the wok. I prefer it this way because we can avoid overcooking or drying out the dish. The meat will release its juices, wait for them to reduce. Once nice and brown, remove from the wok. We are on browning mode. That's right, we're browning the hot dogs. If at any point you need to add more fat, feel free to add oil and I'll be using avocado oil. Hot dogs are actually used in many Mexican recipes. Their rich and beefy flavor pairs wonderfully. When it comes to the chorizo, as soon as it hits the wok, break it apart and stir. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as I am and don't forget to like it and break that chorizo up. Alrighty, that chorizo looks perfect. Completely cooked, let's remove it. Depending on the brand, it may release some fat. You can always remove the excess and add it back in when you're running low. Moving on to the veggies. Saute the onions until slightly softened. Then the bell peppers and garlic. Having everything prepped does turn the process into an enjoyable experience. Take advantage of time and start grilling the spring onions on the side over the grates until cooked through. After one minute of sauteing the bell peppers, in goes the serranos and tomatoes. Oh, and check on those onions periodically. When the tomatoes have softened, transfer all the cooked meat back into the wok. Look at that chorizo, the hot dogs, the meat. Start to combine, marry those layers of flavor into one of a kind, discada. Follow that with one cup of low sodium beef broth and some chopped cilantro. Let it keep cooking until the broth evaporates. It will coat the ingredients, turning it moist and juicy. Lastly, season with salt to taste. Sprinkle more cilantro and it's ready. While the grill is still hot, heat some corn tortillas and by the way, those spring onions should be ready by now. Make some tacos, and since I'm hungry and cannot afford many corn tortillas, I will be using almond flour tortillas for my tacos. You can find the recipe on villacocina.com. Top them with salsa, and I will leave you the link to this avocado one in the description area. Lastly, a squeeze of lime juice. All right. Mm. Wow. I mean, making this recipe was torture because we were smelling all of the flavors, oh, yeah. the aromas, and we just couldn't wait. That salsa pairs perfectly. I mean, avocados, come on. That's <laughs> so good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> the weather is right. Yep. The food is awesome. The birds are singing. Oh. Look at Nelson. He's barely talking. He's so chilled right now. This is the lot. If you don't have a grill or a disc, make it at home in your own kitchen in a large pan and enjoy it. The flavors yeah. are there. The inspiration is there. The recipe is going to be on viacocina.com for you to be able to print it out convenience at your fingertips right <laughs> so i really hope you try this recipe out don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms and i think this is it until the next one keep cooking <laughs>